The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication. Podcast publishing made easy. Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Welcome old-time radio lovers to the Boxcar 7-Eleven old-time radio pod. I am Bob Camardella, your host, and for the next hour or so, your guide, as we travel back in time, back before TV was, to the golden age of radio. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to join one of the most unusual organizations of the globe, the famous World Adventurers Club. Here we find men who have braved death and danger in all the odd corners of the world. It is the custom of the club members to hold a private meeting in which each member recounts the most thrilling of his experiences. And now the Adventurers Club invites you to draw up a chair and sit in this inner circle and hear a story of the thrilling road to adventure. Frank Harvey to take the floor. Yeah, right. Frank, Frank, we're counting on you, old man. What's this? What am I supposed to do? You're due to tell the World Adventurers Club about the most thrilling experience of your career. Yeah, right. Now, right. Just, now, no stalling, old boy. <laughs> Great Scott, is it my turn already? It certainly is, Frank. And I have an idea you're going to give us a story about Mexico. You've been all over Mexico, haven't you, Frank? Well, yes, I've seen most of it. But I doubt if any one man can ever quite see it all. I had some marvelous experiences in the Mayan country in Yucatan. Well, why don't you tell us about that? I shall someday. But I understand that this club wants the most thrilling experience of my career. And that didn't occur in Yucatan, but in the northern part of Mexico, in the state of Sonora. I dare say all you gentlemen have heard of the notorious Pancho Villa. Well, 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 well. you didn't have any trouble with him, did you? Well, he tried to kill me, and I tried to kill him. Outside of that, we didn't have any trouble. (laughs) Well, what did he do? Hold you for ransom? (laughs) No, he never got me. It all started this way. I'd been supervising an engineering project near Prieta. Pancho Villa had been kicking up his usual rumpus in Chihuahua and the border towns. He'd raided and burned ranchos, stolen money and cattle, and in general proved himself to be... Pretty tough hombre. I had never seen him, but one of my Mexican laborers came to me with a story that he used to be Pancho Villa's lieutenant. His lieutenant? Well, was that true? I think it was. This man claimed that he knew where Pancho Villa kept his treasure. He said that there was a secret canyon in the Sierra Madre Mountains where Villa had hidden all his loot. (laughs) And that sounded good to you. (laughs) It certainly did. If I could outwit Villa by stealing his own treasure... I'd just about ruin him. If Veer were broke, he couldn't support his army. His power would be gone. Furthermore, a lot of that money, in fact, most of it, had been taken from Americans. So I planned to raid the bandit's lair, recompense my informer, 
and head back for the USA with everything I could get my hands on. Well, that was a daring scheme. Pretty dangerous yeah. business to monkey with Pancho Villa. It was plain foolhardy, but I was caught by the spirit of the thing. This Mexican had a map that showed the exact location of the treasure. I took another American into my confidence. A young fellow named Arnold, who had been in a previous battle with Villa and who hated his very name. So the three of us, Ramez the Mexican, Arnold and I, all headed into this little canyon in the mountains where we hoped to find the treasure. Aquí, senor. This is the place. I know because Pancho Villa, he owns four hombres from that dead tree. Let's see if it agrees with the map. Yeah, so this is where the old boy buries his treasure. Huh. Pretty desolate-looking place, if you ask me. Si, sí, senor. Me, I am the only man who knows this place. Pancho Villa, he kill man who know where he keep his money. There's a deserted ranch house on this map, Ramez. Si, sí, senor. The hacienda, she is just down the canyon. Nobody, she lives there no more. Hey, look out. Your horses are moving away. Grab them, Ramez. Oh, see, si. see, si, caballos, caballos. Hey, what's the matter with those horses? They're very nervous. Look at them quiver. Hey, horses can sense danger ahead of men. I wonder if there's anyone else in this canyon. Los caballos are frightened, senores. Let's get busy. Forget the horses. Yes, the sooner we get out of here, the better I'll like it. Oh, I can just see Villa stringing up the poor devils who were hung on that tree. All right. Uh, three paces west of this clump of manzanita. Then in line with Skeleton Peak and two paces to the north. This ought to be the exact spot. See, si, see, si, senores. This is him, Senor Arby. See, si, the ground. She has been been bogged there before. Well, give me a pick and I'll stop. A shot. Caramba! We're fired on. We're ambushed. Don't move. Nombre de Dios. It is Pancho Villa. On your horses, men. We've got to ride for our lives. Pancho Villa and a dozen men. Here they come down the canyon. Villa, you'll murder us all. Right to that deserted ranch house. Maybe we can hold them off. Oh, if we can make that ranch house, we can barricade ourselves. If they want to fight, we'll give it to them. Where's Ramez? Here, senor. I, I think they have got me. Shot in the back. Oh, he's hurt. He's shot. Maybe I can get one or two. You ride on, Harvey. No, senor, it's no. I cannot go on. I stay for to hold them off while you ride on. Maybe I kill Villa. Then, bueno, I die happy. Adios, senores. Adios, Ramez. Muy valiente. Adios, Ramez. Un caballero. I hate to leave him, but he's a goner. He can't live ten minutes. We've got to make that ranch house. There it is. Straight ahead. If we get inside, we can pepper away at them. Just let me get a crack at that Villa. Around to the rear. Get the horses in the patio. We may have to leave this place in a hurry, too. Have the horses safe and close. What do you mean? Suppose Villa's men set fire to the place. We'd have to get out then, wouldn't we? Oh, you're right, as usual. Leave the horses here. Kick open that door. <coughs> Great Scott. A woman. An American girl. American? Oh, I thought you were bandits. Who are you? Ruth Davis. My father and I own this rancho. Well, where's your father? He, he's always oh, dead. It killed him. Via's men killed him only an hour ago. I thought they came back for me. I thought you were Via's men. Oh, they've killed him. Oh, she's hysterical. <laughs> We've got to get her out of here. Take, take the two horses and go. I'll cover your retreat. I'll blow them to ass. I won't leave you alone. Oh, you've got to. They'll be here in 30 seconds. Take the girl and ride like the devil. I'll stop Via. I can't desert you. You've got to. You've got to save the girl. I'm begging you to let me stay and plug that bird Via. Don't stand there. Get out of here. Come with me, Miss Davis. Hurry. I'll do anything. Anything. Adios, Arnold. And when you plug Via, give him one for me. Muy valiente. Great shot. That was a wild day in Mexico. I'll say it was. What happened to Arnold? How did it all end? I rode for two days to Prieta, where I knew I was safe. There I left the girl and tried to organize a force to return to that terrible canyon. It was three days before I could get a group of eight men with enough courage to go with me. What had happened there, I could only guess. The ranch house had been destroyed by fire. There were signs of battle and several dead men. Among them, Ramez. Poor Arnold must have died in that house. But since that day, no man has ever seen Pancho Villa. 
And I'm sure that Arnold accomplished what he wanted to do. There was no money in the spot that was supposed to contain the bandit's loot. To this day, I've never seen a penny of Pancho Villa's treasure. It's still hidden away somewhere in the mountains of Mexico. And someday I may go after it again. Well, men, that story makes Frank Harvey a life member of the Adventurers Club. And it's up to one of us to tell the next story. Who shall it be? You. You're the guy. Come on, man. You Say goodbye to the World Adventurers Club. Don't forget that you are always a welcome guest. And they invite you to join their group and hear their strange adventures in strange lands.